Welcome back, my friends and fellow gamers. I'm Wrath, and we're back for episode, what is this, six, I think? Uh, in our Return to Rogue Tech series. Given it a couple of weeks, the, as I'm recording this, the episodes four and five should be coming out the week after I record this, because I'm recording this on the weekend. So hopefully everybody is enjoying the series. And let's go ahead and get into everything. Now we just finished up a mission, so we've got uh, repairs to all the mechs and uh, downtime for the pilots underway. Along with that, we've also got a financial report coming up. However, we are really well placed for that. So. I'm not overly concerned as everything gets back to normal here. Okay. Uh, hmm. Do I want to encourage these guys or scare them? Let's encourage them. All right, so I think that's actually uh, a more uh, a more reasonable outcome than trying to scare somebody by telling them th that they shouldn't do something. Just showing them the reality of it tends to be better. So that's why I chose that that response. And no lasting consequences is nice. So let's see what the future holds here. Okay, the dervish is done and the financial report is ready. I've got the financial report. So let's take a look at here. That puts us down to 700,000. So we've got enough for two more months of operating costs. Assuming that we do no more missions. That is okay. So let's go ahead and select our pay, pay branch for this pay period. And let's go ahead and take the normal, the normal gains until we can start making reasonably good money. We're gonna have to, to hold off on those. So let's wait for the repairs to finish. Okay, so let's get back to work. First order of business is training. Where is everybody with their training? So he's got 2,000. I could bring him up to tactics three or four, but I don't think I need that for him. He's really my, uh, my, my go-to with uh, bashing people in the face. She is... She could use some more accuracy and some more guts. Uh, I want to do the Juggernaut first so that she's got... Because uh, what, what does this one do? This is another passive. So uh, I, want, I want this one because she's going to be my, my melee character. Uh, and then 
And Jack is sort of my high speed support. So I want to get him. Let's get him this signal boost as quickly as possible. And I need to get him a mech that has better indirect fire capability when possible. And then what, what am I at? I'm at nothing's available for me just yet. Okay. So let's go ahead and Always find ourselves a mission. All right. Impact on pirates, although I don't want to work for Liren because they're assholes. Uh, beefed up security. What is this? This is a defender base, and it's against the Lyrans, which I kind of like. Uh, plus, it gets me points with my favorite people, the, the House Davian. So, uh, that might be the play. I'm still worried about doing one-star missions with a, with a lance of three light mechs. Uh, I really need some some more aggressive firepower, but the only way I'm going to get it is in these missions. So let's go ahead and negotiate for this. And again, we'll push for more salvage. Okay. And the cost will, will obviously take care of itself because that will get us basically our operating costs for the month in just one mission. Now even though these are all mechs on the heavier end of the light uh, allocation, they're not, they're not particularly tough. I mean they can, they can take a certain amount of abuse, which is great but they need to be watched after and I have to keep them moving in order to keep them safe. Uh, I really need uh, some dedicated medium, uh, like a dedicated medium lance would be really nice. But we'll see what comes up with that. Uh, you know, I mean, I, I, I like having my dervish. I, would re I really wish I had an Apollo back. Uh, that was really my favorite mech uh, from from the previous season. That Apollo was king of SmackDown. Especially since we were able to get, I think we were able to get like some of the MMLs in there. So we were able to hot swap between long range and short range. I'd like to get back to that, you know, uh, a dedicated mech that has uh, reasonable all-around range capabilities that I can balance for different fighting conditions. All right. Okay, so there's the friendly convoy. See, it's a dagger. Hover tank. All right, Jack, I will put you in charge of watching these guys' backs. Checker, let's get you. Don't want you to be stability damaged, so. What is that? All right, let's, uh, let's get you moving up here. On my way. 
see what you can get done. There we go. All right, so we don't know where they're coming. I think they're coming from over here, but we don't know. So let's uh, let's try to keep a, a good screen on these guys. And we'll move the dervish over this way to try and cover that flank. Oh, yep, they're coming from over there. I think that building is not long for this world. Oh, but now you're now you're in for it. The guns are online. All right, Jack. It's time for you to go earn your pay as a hunter killer. Checker. Got it. That speed, no shooting. Let's get you around here and see if you can get eyes on target here. Um okay. that one, the SRM, is probably gonna be our best bet. What's this? Uh, no. Let's switch to precision ammo. Alpha well, that didn't land like I wanted it to. Alright. Let's go ahead and give them a little LRM love. Let's go ahead and, do we have any different? No, we only have standard LRMs, so. Soften them up a little bit. Okay, bug. You can't quite take them on just yet, but getting close to position is good enough for me. Taking on that dagger for him. Oh, yes, the base returns fire. Oh, damn. Oh. Wow. Holy smokes. All right, Jack, where can you get a good line on these guys? Let's not backlight, backlight the, uh, right, let's keep you moving, grooving. 
and let's target the best one out of the bunch. Let's not even bother with that one. Also keep you moving. Okay, guy in the middle seems to be the best bet right now. So let's I only do one flamer on him though, because I don't think I can really afford to do more. Okay. Okay, having her come down here into their flank real quick. Alright, he seems vulnerable. Let's go ahead and switch to the the armor penetrating rounds. And we'll also move up boss man here. And do a little indirect on the tank. Okay, they mostly missed bug. Oh, what the hell? They're hitting our own guys. Holy crap. All right. Oh, there's a blackjack zero. Where the hell did you come from? check there's a hunter okay hold on what's your condition you've taken damage no damage no damage no damage okay so it just looked like we were okay so what do we got here No, don't want him to go through the fire. Ah, oh, this battlefield became way more hectic and chaotic. Alright, let's take the air unit out first. Looks like a centurion. Yep. Oh, crap. Too close for that. Let's 
All right, so the blackjack zero is like a stripped down uh, alpha build of the blackjack. So it's basically the, the very definition of all the things that were considered to be wrong with the blackjack initially is that model. So that's not, that's not the best deal at the moment. All right, what are you? Another centurion? Holy shit. Okay. We need to put him down fast. So let's double flamer up. Cut all of these guys out of the rotation here. Even though they, they do negligible heat. I need to put a ton of heat on him. Oh, 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 oh. I'm showing minor damage. Mm-hmm. Minor damage indeed. Holy crap, there's a lot of things in here. Alright. Screw you, Liren. Eat hot missiles. Like, if I can get the salvage off of these Centurions, like, maybe I can actually get a full Centurion just from this. And that would be super awesome. Oh, please don't hit my own guy. Oh, come on, bring it down. Taking on that vehicle. Oh, he just haywired the crap out of him. Okay. All right, I, Jack, I need you back over here. There's so much going on over this way. I need my my Johnny on the spot with the lasers to be in the mix here. There's a freaking cattle master. There's the blackjack. Centurion. Let's clear up this guy first. Hard to tell what's going on here with that giant smoke cloud. Good to go. No. Uh, 
go up here and give you a little melee love. Alright, Booker, I need you to remain my extra special man on the spot here. Uh, without moving through heated zones. No Alright, let's uh... No, this is the better play. Hopefully that'll keep him in our in, in trouble here. back up out of the smoke screen here. Oh, smoke screen helps him. That's no good. Alright, let's uh, LRM spam this guy. Not much there. That's still a better, better bet than the other one. Hope these base defenses can get their sh shizzle together. Because these Centurions are not joking around. That's right, you can try to hit Jack, but you ain't gonna hit Jack. Uh, the dervish is outside of range again. Ooh, that blackjack. I may want to get me one of those, too. Hit the specter. Reporting. Serious armor loss. Jack, that hit hard. <laughs> Boy, their defenses are are hurting them more than anything else. Okay, was that the helicopter going down or what? I can't even tell now. Alright, Jack. Alright, just because these guys are harassing the hell out of you. back over here and try to clear this flank off. that we're basically blind in this smoke and it's our own guys. 
Well, that that blackjack's pretty pretty well Commander? good. Okay, so yep, the helicopter's down. So let's take a shot at this centurion while he's got his nuts hanging out here. I need that AC to, to work more for me. Yes, come in. All right, bug. What is that? That is flares. Flames on the way. Burning forest. I can't have you in the heat. What does that mean? Smoke screen. Let's let's do this. Uh, all right, we're gonna have to rely on the smoke screen here. Okay. Come on, bring that guy down. Need to give Boog uh, a round to to recharge, so I'm gonna have to get him moving. A friendly structure has been destroyed. Gonna have to take these guys down. Yeah, you are. You're getting seriously worked over. Am I in your back arc? Oh, well. Don't mind if I do. In that case... Let's do a little acid while we're at it. All right, we need to draw our guys out of that smoke area. Let them handle that, and let's focus on the ones that are a danger to the structures first. Okay, Jack. That means for you, Jack, the one and only choice 
is to come after this guy and light up his backside at point blank range. You! F him right the hell up. And then I'll have Checker come in and jack him from the other side. The only place she can hit him from is front, but I'll take it. Let's go ahead and put all three of them on this guy here. Cut the flamers off. Definitely machine guns on. No, okay. There we go. Wow. <laughs> All right. Time to turn these three on the next target. So let's, uh, because of the situation here, I can't really see what the hell we're fighting. So I need to get nice and close. Hi there. I'm right in your back pocket, aren't I? But I'm going to keep moving out of that situation. Oh, they hit the wolfhound. Damage minor. All right, we're going to take out that vet next. Oh, nice. Keep him going. Wouldn't mind getting that dagger, too. All right. Let's give this guy the good news. And that good news is lasers. Lots and lots of lasers. Yeah. Okay, hold on. Let's zoom in here. Where are my options for landing that will get me in a good spot? No line of fire. Tag him from the other side here. Okay, toss flamers on, shut the lasers off. You know what? Let's not fire at all. We'll brace, give him a chance to reduce heat.
Oh, that's that's turning bad really fast. All right, let's get the the dervish out of this situation as rapidly as possible. It's not much, but it's worth a shot. Anything to try and soften them up a little bit. Checker, you can get to there, so let's hit him from behind. Got to talk to Davian about what they set up for their their defenses. Seriously, you sons of bitches! They're they're nuking my max. You a holes! <laughs> You're nuking my max. I mean, like, my entire lance. Are you out of your frickin' minds? She can easily fire on him. Even with precision, she's not going to get much out of that one, but give a shot. Alright, Jack. I need Jack to stay out of range of another attack, so... I need a line of fire that has three movement. Now that's a risky shot, but let's go ahead and take it. Oh, you hit the bla the fire starter. Okay, well. At least the Centurion's taking a beating. Give this guy some good news that I've decided to blast him at close range. All right, you've got nothing, Bug. You've got to you get to GTFO for the moment.
Brace and vent heat. He's out of the fight until I can do something about it. AC10. His AC10 is out of action because he just lost his ammo. just cannot get a good the terrain here does not favor Jack at all so let's uh, let's pull Jack out of that fight no Joey there Boy, they're hammering those guys. This is turning into a real good throwdown fight. Although I'm not liking that they're indiscriminately f throwing heat around on my mechs. Let's get up here in a good lineup. There goes his hand. Okay. Get him out and braced. I need his temperatures to come down. Let's move up on his other flank here and give that one a little bit of the good news. 30% good chance anyway. Blackjack is seriously in trouble. All right, he's down. Wonder how many of these I can actually get. It'd be awesome if I got a bunch of max out of this. Did we get both of the Centurions down? Mission successful. Okay, we held out the number of rounds necessary, which is good enough. Uh, and there's at least one Centurion on the field that we can try to pick up. And it looked to be a standard Centurion, so that's not bad. So 380, that'll cover most of our costs. Didn't get the 15% bonus there, but we got a bunch of other bonuses. No critical damage on any of our mechs. Everybody got some decent experience. Jack got some bonus. I don't know why for sure, but. And, oh, you want to steal Centurion parts. Why you got to do this to me? Uh, 
we will accept it even though I don't like it. Alright, so there's still some Centurion parts on the field. It's the 3A instead of the standard one. I'm not sure what the difference is, but I feel like we should snatch these up right away. And if I saw it correctly, they added, how many of these do I have? I have two of those, so I don't need those right now. An Ultra AC5, that's nice. I thought I saw Swarm. A whole bunch of Swarm. Let's take one of those for sure. And let's see what else we get here. All right, so they gave us Cattle Master parts, which I don't really care for the Cattle Master. Uh, it's too one-sided. I like my mechs to have a balance, so if I lose parts, that I'm not completely crippled. Uh, so that, let's see, heavy rifle, heavy rifle, mining drill, additional melee damage. That's a nice supporting item. And we got some more swarm ammo. Excellent. So we can now throw that swarm ammo on the dervish for its LRMs. So we'll have uh, sort of a, a blanket area missile system so we don't have to always do precision shots. Eleven thousand. Mm, eight days. Not my favorite, but it's all right. But we're gonna we're gonna stop work on the dervish, and we're going to refit this ourselves now, so that we don't waste the time repairing it. All right, so. Rather than going all crazy on this, we're just going to simply remove one of those and pop in the uh, the swarm. Oh, I've got LRM incendiary. Why am I not using those? All right. So LRM incendiary LRM. Let's uh, let's strip the armor. Let's uh, toss in the half stack of listen and kill. Drop one of the jump jets, and then let's put back on the the standard LRM ammo. So those two half tons go together. Got that. Swarm, incendiary. And let's do a single ton of LRM. Put this guy back on. We can always take him off here in a second. Okay, max out the armor. This makes us really frail, uh, which makes me very nervous. All 
All right, if we take the jump jet off, that gives us another half ton that we can put in on armor. Okay, it's not perfect. Uh, I kind of wish I could do a, a little bit better on this, but I need ferro and uh, ferro fibrous and uh, endo to be able to make this thing lighter. Actually, do I have do I have any ferro or endo? No, I don't. Yeah, without those, I'm not going to be able to make this thing. Oh, I do. Endo steel. Okay, so this is from the Bombard. So I could technically take these because I, I set the Bombarder aside. Do we have, what do we have for, for, not AC-20. So I have two heavy rifles. Uh... Precursor to the auto cannons. Uh, they're not as they're not as good. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm going to go ahead and do it. I'm going to make use of these internals on the holy crap we're, we're blowing a whole bunch of money out our butt right now but this should get us enough to you know what if that's the case then maybe i can swap the sr2s let's see how much do you weigh you weigh three a piece That's six tons. That'd be too much. But these weigh two apiece. So I could toss on the SRM4s and still be able to throw on some additional armor. And then we've got the half stack of listen and kill for short range and a half stack of listen kill for long range. So, good all the way around. Good to the last drop, as they say. So, let's go ahead and buff up the armor. Okay. too much. All right, well, that is a very expensive upgrade, but I think that it will make the dervish much more effective on the battlefield, and so I'll be able to lay down a lot more hurt from either long range or close range until I can find some MMMs but uh, sorry some MMLs uh, that or some MRMs would work too but uh, either way once we're set we can go ahead and continue ooh I like that that's such a pretty picture alright that's costing us a pretty penny though so that basically blew all of our budget funds for the right. that get it. Let's get it out the window. Now let's uh, 
Let's also talk about the Wolfhound. Okay. Because of the the use of this as a melee unit, I want to wait, what was that? Uh left torso is not permitted, so it must be on the arm. And I don't have uh well shoot. Okay. Okay, so where is she missing some armor here? Took a little bit of abuse in the chest and in the arms. In the back. This thing is basically like full armor, isn't it? Yeah, she's like uh, full armor here. Take one tiny bit off the head and then she's done. Actually, no, it's not the head we want to take that off of. Take it off there. All right. We changed up the armor profile significantly there. All right, so that cost us more because I s screwed around playing with stuff. All right, so the dervish has to go to the top of the list, and so does the wolfhound. That way they'll process faster because I have two bays for repairs, so they can both be repaired simultaneously. Anyway, that is going to be the end of this episode. Please, uh, if you know, if you have a comment, please, you know, feel free to share, uh, like, and subscribe. Uh, I hope that you are enjoying, and hopefully we'll be able to get ourselves a better mech here in the near future. Until next time, I'm Rath. I hope you've enjoyed. Please like, subscribe, and I will catch you on the flip side.